Here's the Oklahoma Country House featured in August, Osage County. And here's what happens to it. I speak in metaphorically, of course, but the effect is very much the same. You ready for this? No. No way. Hey, Mom, I'm here. Oh, Mom! Look at your boobs. Last time I saw you, you looked like a little boy. The explosions are all emotional in this film by John Wells, which boasts an all-star cast. The combustion comes from a dysfunctional family reunion fueled by booze, pills, anger, and simple revenge, which is about to unleash some long-kept family secrets. Meryl Streep is the matriarch of the bitter Weston clan, which includes three daughters played by Julia Roberts, Julianne Nicholson, and Juliette Lewis. Streep is great as always, letting the barbs fly and the bile spill. Roberts matches her jab for jab, and don't be surprised if both of them end up with Oscar nominations next week. But for my money, I prefer the performances by the quieter family members, the characters played by Nicholson and Chris Cooper. You don't always have to shout to make an impact. I give August Osage County two and a half stars out of four. There are a lot of lessons in my life. Never shoot a large caliber man with a small caliber bullet. Anything in life worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderations for cowards. I'm a lover, I'm a fighter, I'm a UDT Navy SEAL diver. The other big opener this week is Lone Survivor, a war movie that's more than just a war movie. It's based on the memoirs of retired Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell, the sole man left breathing out of 20 U.S. soldiers caught in a 2005 firefight in the Taliban-held mountains of, of Afghanistan's Kunar province. Luttrell's first-person writing doesn't hesitate to wave the stars and stripes, but it isn't the work of a man with delusions of grandeur. It's a hard-earned account of someone who knows that on the battlefield, the best of intentions often fall before unforeseen circumstances. Morality is always a moving target in war, and frequently its first casualty. For all of its macho intensity, visceral imagery, and realistically booming bullets, chopper blades, and falling bodies, this film deserves awards consideration just for the sound design. Lone Survivor isn't just another exercise in U.S. jingoism by director Peter Berg, who usually isn't big on subtlety. We see the conflict from both sides, and we get some fine acting from the actors played by Mark Wahlberg, Taylor Kitsch, Emile Hirsch, and Ben Foster as the embattled Navy SEALs stuck on the mountain. I give Lone Survivor three stars out of four. That's it for this week. Have fun at the movies.